Hello DIY Glamettes. Welcome back to Glam Queen of DIY. And if this is your first time here, welcome. Now today's video is 10 brilliant yellow glam DIYs. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on your notifications. Alright family, let's get this DIY project started. For this first DIY, we're taking this lintel vase, this Krylon Brilliant Yellow Spray Paint. Now I'm going to paint the pieces. And to you guys, I am showing you how I'm painting. You guys want to know how did I do I paint these pieces. And as you look, I take my piece and I spray them and burst. And as you can see with that lip or groove in a vase, you see I just hit pumps till I feel it. And if I create runs, like I'm going to show you here shortly, how do I fix my runs, you guys? You see here, you guys, I take my spray paint and you see that pumping action. That is what I constantly do to build up in between a run so I can fill it up and make it look even. That my vase is dry we're going to dress it up with this uh diamond rhinestone sheet and this crusty epoxy sheet now the diamond rhinestone sheet actually came from bead part you guys these 10 diys is using accessories from bbcraft.com beadpark.com and totaldazzle.com check my description all of that information is in there and you can get a discount if you do pick up you some of these gorgeous items This is you guys. I bring this DIY to a close. It's just simple, easy, and elegant. Drop me a comment if you're liking this DIY and it is a DIY that you'll duplicate. For this next DIY, we're going to take this vase and we're taking that crayon brilliant yellow spray paint. I've painted the vase. I'm going to take this crushed diamond epoxy sheet, which is actually from um, beepark.com. Uh, their information is in my description box. Please make sure you go over and check out Bead Park. They have a vast array of accessories that you'll love. And if you purchase through my links and use my discount code, like I said, it costs you no extra money. You'll always normally receive a discount on using any of my affiliate links.
and this is the hack you guys I you see I poured that uh, diamond crushed diamond sheet together then I cut it would give you a seamless look so that you don't see how those pieces is cut and for this DIY, I'm taking that cylinder vases plate and I glued these two uh, small key light holders together. So I'm going to just take my E6000 and glue this together. Now this is glued you guys. I had glued it together for another project and you know I'm the queen of no waste. So instead of gluing two more, I just still decided to use this piece. Now I'm going to just uh, connect this to uh, this plate and I'm now going to let that dry you guys and I did let it dry for a total of about uh, about 24 hours but I'm going to add in my fix saw so I can put that bling adhesive on the top and I'm just finna jazz this piece up to let me know if you're thinking of uh, the DIYs thus far or items that you'll create and let me know in the comments too if you're liking this uh, brilliant yellow I'm going to be bringing you a few of these compilations from them colors. You guys, I am taking in all of your comments through your emails and we're dropping this content just for you for this month of April and May. So we do have quite a bit more surprises in for you guys. Just getting ready to connect my base to my cylinder you guys and I'm using my E6000 and I want to give you a useful tip you guys so we do as crafters we like to use that hot glue with that E6000 and we use them universally but I will tell you what I found out is that the hot glue and the E6000 mix breaks down the glue faster just going to add these uh, inserts into my DIY vases and I'm telling you it took them up a notch. I hope you like them. Drop me a comment thus far which DIY is your favorite. And you guys for this face I had to go back and edit it out. The beginning portion of it would not play for some reason but it's just it's just that cylinder vase from Dollar I mean Hobby Lobby Dollar Tree do carry them and I painted it yellow I'm using that uh, flower mesh that I actually got from beadpark.com. Bead Park information is down in my description box. Please make sure you go over and check out Bead Park website. And if you will want to partner with them, all of that information is in the description box. I'm just hot gluing that flower mesh on you guys and I'm telling you these are some very very simple DIYs and this brilliant yellow is gorgeous but I'm just going to glue it on to you guys and uh, I just want to tell you if you are a craft I'm using this Monvik hot glue gun I promise you guys this glue gun is a game changer and it is also um, cordless as well where you can unplug it and it stays hot for about two or three minutes but this glue gun is the best to date that i've ever used make sure you check out mom vic and i will drop that information in my description box as well
you guys for this DIY we're taking those Dollar Tree stemless wine glasses that Dollar Tree hurricane BB craft mirror mosaic tile and I'm also going to use total dazzle rhinestone I changed up my pieces please you guys if you're not affiliated with totally dazzle or bbcraft.com please check them out I'm dropping their uh, information down in my description box so you can snag you some beautiful pieces to create high-end DIYs or also with uh, Total Dazzle if you're just trying to style an elegant table decor. Table decor. I'm sorry, tablescape, you guys. I can't talk, but they have some amazing uh, napkin rings and stuff. But please make sure you do check them out. I always look in my description box for my affiliate links. It costs you nothing to purchase from my affiliate links. I just receive a small commission if you do. Drop me a comment if you're liking these DIYs here, these uh, yellow vases, if this would be something that you would recreate. And this is a simple DIY. I'm taking this Dollar Tree floor bucket, this Dollar Tree foam, this yellow paint, and some lime green flowers from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to pour my paint on and brush it on this bucket. I was asked to create a rustic glam a flower centerpiece so this is for you I'm actually creating this is very simple you guys if you notice I only painted the bucket put in my glue down my floor form and I'm just layering in my flowers you can also create this in a truly full glam vase as well With this wreath, we're taking this Dollar Tree uh, wreath wire, these Dollar Tree white and Dollar Tree yellow take square tablecloths. I'm just going to cut them and I'm going to show you how I am going to create this uh, wreath. I do have an older version of a tip on how I do create wreaths simplified, but I'm just going to cut these uh, tablecloths into square tips. So just follow me along and this is going to be pretty easy I think for you to be able to duplicate. All I'm doing is I'm just taking that wreath, you see I'm folding it in half, smashing it together, then I'm just simply not tying it on the wreath. That's it you guys. 
just a simple knot tie on the wreath and you just put your color in as you go you can make this wreath as full as you like and I do like my wreaths full and I'm showing you how I gather out the color so I can mix it in but this is a very simple wreath to replicate again with those squares you fold it in half smash it put it around the wire and not tie it. Now you guys, I did not tie this wreath to two of these wires. Now if you want a truly full wreath, make sure you not tie it to either three or four. We're bringing these 10 glamorous DIYs to a close. I hope you have enjoyed them. Please drop me a comment which DIY was your favorite and if you are going to replicate them as well. Don't forget to make sure you do subscribe to Glam Queen of DIY, Glam Queen of Decor, Glam Queen Unboxing, Glam Queen Vlogs, and Fit for a Queen. Now, Glamettes, if you've been rocking with your girl for a while, you know I can't close out without letting you know to always, always, always be positive so you can remain productive and stay positioned to make your next move your best move. I'll see every one of you in another upcoming video. Bye everyone, stay blessed and always stay positive.